So this beautiful hadith, Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam said, Kalimatan, two words, memorize this. Kalimatan, two words, khafifatan ala lisan. They are light on the tongue, meaning they are easy to say. You don't have to struggle. Easy, two words, easy to say. Light on the tongue. Thakilatan fi mizan. It is heavy in the scale. Because we know on the day of judgment, our good deeds and our bad deeds will be weighed against each other. Right? Allah said, فَأَمَّا مَنْ ثَقُلَتْ مَوَازِينُهُ فَهُوَ فِي عِشَةِ رَابِيَةِ As for the one whose good deeds are heavy, what's going to happen? You will go to Jannah. You will live a pleasant life in Jannah. وَأَمَّا مَنْ خَفَّتْ مَوَازِينُهُ فَأُمُّهُ هَاوِيَةِ وَمَا أَدْرَاكَ مَا هِيَ نَارٌ حَامِيَةِ The one whose bad deeds, whose good deeds are light, your good deeds are lighter than your bad deeds, you go to hellfire. So we know there's going to be a scale on the day of judgment. Well, this hadith is telling you and I how to make sure that our scales are heavy. These two words, the Prophet said, they are light on the tongue. They are heavy in the scale. Meaning, if these two words, if they are part of your good deeds on the day of judgment, and they are put in the scale, they will be heavy. And last but not least, the Prophet said, Habibatan ila rahman These two words, they are beloved to Allah. Allah loves them. When you say them, Allah is happy. What are these two words? So easy. Subhanallah wa bihamdi. Subhanallah al-Azim. Subhanallah wa bihamdi. Subhanallah al-Azim. These two words, they are so loud. How easy was it for, for me to say? And guess what? I, sh- I actually have a, 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 a stuttering problem. I stutter. But wallahi, these two words, it is so easy for me to say. Subhanallah wa bihamdihi. Subhanallah al-Azim. Glory be to Allah and all praise be to Him. Glory be to Allah, the most greatest, the highest, the tremendous Allah Azza wa Jal. Subhanallah. There's another hadith. The Prophet said, Man qala subhanallah wa bihamdihi fi yawmi mi'ata marrah. He said, whoever said, subhanallah wa bihamdihi 100 times a day. Subhanallah, listen to this. Whoever says, subhanallah wa bihamdihi 100 times a day, what is your reward? Huttat qataya wa in kanat mithla zabad al bahr He said, whoever said just 100 times a day, subhanallah wa bihamdihi, and I'm telling you, wallahi, it does not take no more than five minutes. Just dedicate yourself to that. Maybe after fighting for you, or any time, that's easy for you, sit down. Dedicate yourself to saying Subhanallah wa bihamdi 100 times and guess what? What's the reward? The Prophet said, your sins will be erased. All of it, even if they were as much as the foam of the sea. Your sins can be so many. But of course, we're talking about minor sins. These are minor sins because of your major sins, you have to actually do tawbah, right? Tawbah. I should repent for it. Subhanallah. Brothers and sisters, wallahi. Wala dhikrullahi akbar. To remember Allah, the reward that comes with it is the greatest. Thank you.